Uh, we have an evening session. Look out your bow ties, gentlemen, and <laughs> we'll be back here. Um, I'm sure that will be a bit of a fill-up to his confidence, surely. Well done, him. Mm. Honestly, really, really good effort that was. You know, he, we know how he's feeling. We know how mentally tough it's been for the last couple of weeks. And uh, to do something like that, get out the chair and make that performance, very good indeed. Well done. Yes. E echo those sentiments, Steve? Yes, uh, other than to say, obviously, the person that gets to the final is playing and queuing very well. So at some stage, you would hope to do that as well. So, mm. you know, like whilst the, the crowd are sort of willing Ali to get back, come on Ali, come on Ali, he himself thinks that that's what he should be doing. Mm. And he'd be a bit frustrated he hasn't been doing it a bit more. Yes, indeed. Well, as we know, he's, he's reached the heights in this sport by getting to this Crucible final. But uh, he's a pretty ambitious fellow, is Ali. And not just in his snooker career, because over the past couple of years, he's been training to earn his pilot's life with a view to becoming a commercial pilot when he finally puts away his cue. Hence his nickname, The Captain Carter. Well, I guess he'll be hoping that uh, by winning that last frame, he'll be cleared for takeoff in this final. 11. He landed in the semi-finals OK, but uh, not enough fuel in the tank, it seems, uh, to go on to make uh, a really strong challenge in the final. But he's playing it frame by frame. That's all he can do. That's not all that bad. He hasn't left anything easy here for Ali Carter, who I don't think will be flying for quite a while there now that he's uh, sitting at provisional. Well, he is number seven in the world, so he's going to be around the snooker circuit for quite a while. So the old flying might have to take a back seat for a while. He's also got another business. He is uh, the owner of Chelmsford Snooker Club. Not surprisingly, he practices there. Straight away, a chance to develop the black, just with a little cannon here. He's always looking for that shot, is Ronnie O'Sullivan. Eight. That's uh, Ronnie's partner, Joe, with young Ronnie. And that's Lily. Nine. I think it was the UK, wasn't it, where Lily had a little wander around on the snooker table uh, <laughs> during the presentation. Sixteen. Well, it's his turn. He can have a little walk around the Crucible Theatre table, maybe, but not yet. Seventy. O'Sullivan never meant to be on that red. He meant to be on one of the two back reds. But um, he had that as an alternative and has left himself dead straight. He could do with out the cannon onto the two reds when he pots this, and I think he's OK 22. looking at the angle. Maybe not. Yeah, he could just avoid them. 23. And those two reds are awaiting. He'll just come off the top cushion, just go past where the cue ball is now, and he's perfect. He really is a bit special to watch when he's in 13. around the black spot and break building. Thirty-one. under hitting that purposely so that he'd leave an angle to pot this and try and develop a few more. Oh, that got a kick. 39. 
it sounded like a kick. <coughs> Red just jumped a little bit, but he didn't quite get enough topspin on it either, and he lets a, a little scream out. Now he's got, he's got to get to the black. I don't know whether he can stretch around and play an unusual type shot here, but a bit of a stretch that, isn't it? Can't see what he's doing. <laughs> he's going to need a lot of help if he's going to get the, the long tackle out. But he's just guessing here because he can't see what, he, what he's doing. Look where his eye line is. Only in Sullivan, 39. <laughs> O'Sullivan irritated. Carter relieved that uh, no. he didn't make more. Hugh Edwards, used to reading the news, but uh, O'Sullivan is the man making it. That's the artist uh, Damien Hurst, who likened O'Sullivan in some respects to Picasso. What was his highest break, uh, Clive Picasso? I didn't know he played the game. Spanish champion. <laughs> 39 points behind. Ali wanted to open the reds there. But it's a little bit awkward. The blacks almost tight on this back cushion. The browns almost tight on the opposite cushion. Once again, Ronnie keeping focused. You know, thinking about the shot here. So he's not going to make any careless mistakes, that's for sure. Packed audience again at the Crucible Theatre, and they're loving every minute of this. A lot of Ronnie O'Sullivan supporters there, but a lot of people would like to see Ali make a comeback. That's a terrific success rate for the tournament, 93%. I mean, Ali's doing well at 90%. That's for the whole of the tournament. For the match, well, he's sitting at 94%, and that is the difference, Ali, at 88. Needs a thin one here. Not off that red. <laughs> but he's left anyway. Well, what did... Sullivan point out there 